On July 3rd, 1971, the body of James Douglas Morrison, songwriter and poet, was found supine in a Paris bathtub. His life may have ended, but the mystery, the music, and the legend of Jim Morrison and the Doors lives on. I'm Jim Ladd. The Doors were at the center of the 60s as an entire generation discovered new realms of consciousness, new ways of relating, new means of expression. Their music captured that spirit for all time. And today, almost a quarter of a century later, the doors still capture the public's ears and imagination. Yet the real story of the doors has been obscured, but that is about to change as Westwood One presents The Doors, setting the record straight. Five to one, baby. The Doors, setting the record straight. A 19-hour series of music mixed with investigations and reflections. The ultimate exploration of rock's most controversial heroes. An audio adventure featuring hours of unreleased music, both studio sessions and live concert performances, from their first demos to Jim's final recorded moments. I think we're the band you love to hate. So I, it's, it's been that way from the beginning. You know, we're universally despised. I kind of, I kind of relish the whole situation. Over the last two decades, The Doors have permeated popular culture. In 1990 alone, The Doors' six studio albums sold 20 million copies. A dozen new books were published on the band, four of which made the prestigious New York Times bestseller list simultaneously and close to $80 million was spent in a cinematic attempt to plumb the mysteries Morrison set in motion. But the movie, like most of what's been written about The Doors, raised more questions than it answered. Like a dog without a bone and actor out alone, riders on the storm. The Doors, setting the record straight, will cut through the confusion, separate reality from distortion, truth from lie. There was no autopsy of Jim Morrison. Everybody who tells you Jim O'Day, Jim this, Jim that, is, is a liar. It's impossible to prove. French documentarian no Philippe Manoeuvre interviewed the Minister of Health who examined Jim's body and signed the death certificate. He said Jim, Jim's body was warm to the point that they tried to revive him. What really happened on that March night in Miami that resulted in getting Jim arrested for obscenity? Well, from his vantage point on stage, Robbie Krieger. Yeah, I guess a lot of people started jumping up on the stage and it started to collapse. And yeah, I forget how many songs we actually played. But nothing illegal happened as far as I saw, you know? I didn't see him whip it out or nothing like that. A few months after Miami, during an interview, a battle-weary Jim Morrison commented on the events. Well, I have to be optimistic, so I think there's a good chance. Uh, first of all, they, they, they never really proved anything except uh, profanity, which we admitted all along, that there was profanity used in the performance. And we, attempt, we were going to attempt to prove that that did not violate contemporary community standards in the city of Miami. Was Jim a courtly poet or a tortured demon? Had he had it with the doors? Was that chapter closed? Why did he move to Paris? How did Jim die? These questions are controversial, and so is this series. I'm Jim Ladd, and I'll be your guide through the myriad of complexities, the facts and the fiction. Listeners will be riveted, not only by what is revealed, but also by two special extended holiday broadcasts aired at Thanksgiving and Christmas, featuring unreleased Doors concerts. Some parts of the Doors story will remain forever mysterious, forever in dispute. But every corner that can be illuminated will, as Westwood One presents The Doors, setting the record straight, a very special 19-hour series created and produced by Sandy Gibson, 
for exclusive broadcast rights, call your Westwood One representative today at 213-840-4000. That's 213-840-4000. When the music's over, turn up the lights, turn up the lights, turn up the lights. The Doors, setting the record straight. It could only come from Westwood One.